Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how can we get the similarity in the vector space. So there are two main ways to do it. First is Euclidean distance, second one is cosine similarity. Let's check out the Euclidean distance similarity first. Here I have three examples, princess, prince, and man. As you can see, the distance between the prince and man is closer than the princess and man. So here we can say that the prince and man similarity is higher than the princess and the man. Well, we can easily get the distance by using this equation. So let's talk about the cosine similarity. We have three examples here. And this vertical axis is the number of the money and this horizontal axis is just number of the, uh, the laundering. So if you have just laundering, it will be like 1,0 and the money money laundering is 1,2 and we have bunch of money here is just 0 0.6 here. And here if you use the Euclidean distance, the laundering and money money laundering, the distance is closer than the money money laundering and the, the six money is here. But if we want to talk about the similarity, actually the similarity between this six money and the money money laundering is higher than the money money laundering and the laundering because laundering is just like washing your clothes, right? But the money laundering and the multiple monies here has more similarity because money laundering has a similarity with the real money here. Well, so we cannot just use the Euclidean distance in this sense. In this case, we can use the cosine similarity. And the reason why the Euclidean distance doesn't work here is because the magnitude of the vector actually affecting in Euclidean distance. So let's say you have kind of a book about the money and it will keep saying money multiple times. Then the magnitude of this vector will be very high just like this blue vector. But the meaning of this book, uh, the meaning of the money is just money. Uh, no matter what, no matter how many money comes in this book, it's just talking about the money. So we just want to magnitude in this similarity way. In this case, we can just use the angle between two vectors. That is the cosine similarity. So you can see this red data here, the angle between this blue and orange line, and you can see the green data here between the orange and the green uh, vectors here. And uh, here, I'm showing the cosine function here. So if the data is zero, then uh, you have the highest value one here. And if data is 90, it is zero, which is the lowest value. So if the data is smaller, that means we have the higher similarity. If sim uh, the theta is closer to the 90, then uh, that's lower similarity. And to get the similarity, you can just use the cosine similarity equation here. Cosine theta is like a b the product over the 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 length of the a and the length of the b here. So you can easily calculate with this example. So if we have the vector three comma four and the four comma three, then you can easily get the similarity here. Then the cosine is like sixteen point twenty six degree here. So you can use this equation to get the cosine similarity and uh, the lower angle means the, uh, the higher similarity here. And uh, one bonus trick here is like can angle be greater than 90? Well, normally impossible because as in my example here, this axis is actually the number of words and the number of words cannot be the negative number, right? That means this red line cannot be here. This red line will be like something here because the number of words should be positive number. So the cosine similarity normally guarantee it will have from the zero to the one range. Okay, that's all for this tutorial and thank you very much. I will see you on the next video.